All right, let's smash a maxi nerdle. We got a big old math equation on our hands. I'd like to go 24 divided by 6 plus 3 times 1 equals 7. Just to get a bunch of different stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? It does not equal a single digit number, but it does end in 7. We get a plus. Okay, so the only the only operator we haven't used yet is subtraction. Uh, we also have all these parentheses and exponents, which are possible. Uh, only get three numbers, so we could definitely get the last four numbers in here if possible. Um, all right, well, I don't know. Let's just go, I don't know, 50, 58. Just go right in order of the numbers that are appearing. 58 plus 24. Um, and then we could just do minus something, equals something. Uh, so that equals 82. We could just do minus 9. And that equals 73. It can't be this, but I think it's worth just testing the rest of the stuff. Uh, we didn't get a zero in there, but we did move some stuff around. We'll get a subtraction in there, move the, move the equal sign. Equal sign does go there. We don't have subtraction. We only have addition. So it might be worth trying multiple plus signs. I probably could have done that in the last one, honestly. Okay, so how many numbers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, and we haven't tried any duplicates yet. I haven't tried squared or cubed. Those might be worth trying. Um, it is going to equal a double digit number, so we got to make things kind of big. Not super big, though. We're probably not squaring nine if we only have addition, uh, but we could certainly square any of the other numbers. Yeah, maybe we try to make it equal 97. Um, I might try two plus signs this time. Is that possible? Let's, let's give that a try. So let's see if we can make this thing equal 97. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we try another seven even, because seven squared gets things pretty big pretty fast. But the plus sign can't go here, which is kind of strange. All right, so the only number, like, I, I, I could put a 4 out here. Let's try that. And then do plus, uh, then we could do plus 7 squared. I don't know if this is going to equal 97. It's almost definitely not going to equal 97. But uh, I kind of do, like, 7 squared. I don't know why. Uh, and then we could do plus again. What do we need to add to that to get to 97, I guess, is the question here. So that's 53. We could add 40. So yeah, why don't we? Uh, five can't go here, so that's that's part of the problem. Uh, okay, whatever. Forty-four. That's what we need to add. Guess we'll just try a bunch of fours. I don't know. This seems like a reasonable thing. Okay, so we only have one four. There are two plus signs. There's not a squared. Nine does not go here. So there are at least two plus signs. Could this equal twenty-seven? There are not two sevens. Maybe we just add a bunch of things together? Okay, so, uh, I don't know. Let's just see what happens if we add all the numbers. 4 plus 9 plus 5. So we're at 18 there. Plus 9 is 27. I'm just going to do that. The 9 can't go there, so this is impossible. But, uh, and we don't have a 2 in the, well, we do have a 2 in the equation. So I think we use, do we use all the numbers? It looks like it. I think, oh, we haven't used 0 yet, but... Uh, wow, I, <laughs> I really, I wasn't even thinking that. Okay, so I couldn't put the nine there, but just because addition is uh, the trend, was that the transitive property? What's the thing that allows you to, addition, you can put it in whatever order you want. So I don't know. So we, they just switched it around for me and the equation works. That's money. Okay, cool. Well, there's a maxi neural. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.